Today we're going to continue on on our lesson on Native American buffalo hide art. First, I'm going to talk to you guys about the original purpose of the art. Buffalo hide art was originally used for clothing for the tribe. The buffalo fur was used for warmth during the winter. Now, the type of hide that they wore depended on what situation they were in. So if someone was sick, they would wear hide that had art on it that represented healing. If a woman wanted to have a child, she would wear hide that had symbols on it that represented childbirth. Now I'm going to talk to you guys about how the hides were made. The women would send the men out and they would hunt the buffalo and kill them. Then they would skin them. Now when they skin them, that's how they get the hide. The men would then bring the hides back to the camp and then the women would paint art all over the hides. Now, how did they make the art? They obviously didn't have paint brushes back then, so they used red clays, berries, barks from trees, limestones, eggshells, charcoal, grapes, even animal fat. And sometimes they even used flowers for the bright colors like yellow and red. So today we're going to do an art project using the buffalo hides. Now obviously none of us went out and hunted any buffalo so we don't have any hides. So instead we're just going to draw hides on a piece of paper. So I have step by step directions on how you guys are going to draw the hides. So everyone get out a piece of paper, just a normal blank piece of paper and you guys are going to need pencils and colored pencils. So the first step to drawing a buffalo hide is to do a shape like this. Um, when the men skin the buffalo, they never skinned in a perfect shape. So make sure when you draw your hide, it's not a perfect circle or a perfect square. You want it to have a bunch of little squigglies. The second step is to add a little circle right in the middle of your hide. Now, your circle does not have to be a perfect circle because, like I said, they didn't have paint brushes, so none of their shapes were perfect. So that's the second step. The third step is to add little lines around the circle, so it kind of looks like a sun. The next step is to add a second circle inside of the first circle that you drew, and also add little lines all around. So now it looks like a big sun, and then a smaller sun inside of that. The next step is to do one more little circle inside. So there you should have a big circle, a medium sized circle, and then a small circle. And all the circles should have little lines going around. So it looks like three suns. The last step before you color is to just add little lines going all the way around your buffalo hide. The lines don't all have to be the same, they could all be different, because remember, their art was never perfect. And then finally, you guys get to all color your buffalo hides. Now, buffalo hides are always brown, the skin is always brown, so make sure you guys have at least this part brown. As far as the design, you guys can do any color you want, okay? So be creative, and this is how you do the buffalo hide. 